Okay, I'm um, I'm here with AJ Dressler of Chroma Painting in his Hello. lovely music studio. It looks like <laughs> yeah, it's paint. <laughs> so. um, and we are going to talk a little bit about things going on right now with that he's allowed to do that I'm allowed to do, and about painting in general and tips because we're all stuck in our homes. <laughs> that is for a that little bit longer. Very true. Yeah, <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is our view for a little while, right? Oh, so. Lord God, please, yes. <laughs> yes, so well, how, how are you doing? I mean, real estate, what's that like right now? How is that? You know, it's, um, it, it is uh, confusing. In some counties, it's an essential service. In Durham, we're being told it will be an essential service by the end of the day, but we have no proof of that as of 1.15 on Friday. Um, but I can do a lot. We can do virtual showings. If you're under contract, we can still move forward with all the things under contract. We can do virtual um, listing consultations and buyer orientations, which means we can do virtual home prep analysis, which is actually kind of why I wanted to talk to you because yeah. one of the big steps with home prep is always painting your house. It's the best yeah. thing you can do to get your house ready. It's the easiest and cheapest way to um, get something that feels new, right? So yeah. um, no, that's really cool. And I, you, you mentioned the virtual tours and stuff. And that's one thing that we're, we're trying to move a little bit towards as we do all of this. So um, with Chroma, we're, we're allowing homeowners to call in and give us, either send us pictures or do like a FaceTime, um, uh, Zoom, Skype, whatever, whatever that avenue of, um, you know, media is for you guys. But we're allowing that so that we can take a looks at room, take looks at rooms and, uh, figure out measurements and what they're looking to do and, and, and get a price together without them having to leave their home or us have to, having to enter it more times than need be. Um, so for, you know, for homeowners that are trapped inside staring at their walls all day, um, it's a great way to just say, hey, if I, you know, I want to quote, even if it's, if it's not the right time to paint it for them or they're not looking um, to do it that day or that week or whatever, um, it's a great opportunity to at least get some numbers together. Um, we're all we're all stuck right now, so get as much information as possible. And like I said, we can we can do some quotes that way, which has been really really cool. It's a it's a good way to <coughs> keep us safe. Yeah, and I would say, I mean, we have we have a mutual friend who's a designer who can probably help anyone out with color choices because I mean I know when I paint a house or have a house painted for showing, it's different than when you paint your house for living in it. Yep. What appeals to a seller is, I mean, my house is lots of colors, but that's not what I would do if I was selling it. Right. Um, so, you know, we have people that can probably help you with that virtually as well, if either of us. I would say in my guess, is when, when we're allowed out of this project um, for more than our essential work, and both AJ and I have essential work that we're allowed to do, but most of you don't, or can work from home, you, you, we're all gonna be really tired of our houses. Yes. And while I would love for every person who's tired of their house to move, um, and I'm here if you want to, I don't think that all of you will want to. I think in the cheapest, as EJ said, way to fix your house and make it feel new is to put new colors up there. Especially, you know, if you have kids running all over the place, so, and mucking up your walls. Well, that, that, is, that is the beauty of it, uh, Courtney. We can, you know, and this time while you're, everyone's doing their new homeschool and becoming uh, not just staying at home with uh, their own work, but becoming teachers as well, um, there are gonna be a lot of uh, bumps and bruises on the walls of the houses as well. So the beauty of paint, right, is that you can continue uh, to paint over and paint over and paint over as many times as, as you would, would enjoy to do that. So, I mean, I know for you all, what you're really, I mean, you probably have a bunch of tips for people who are getting ready to paint or who are looking for things they can do. I mean, I know that you would rather that you paint the house than they do, but maybe if they let their kids paint a mural or do something fun in the house in the meantime, do you have any ideas on what they could or shouldn't do? Yeah, I mean, of course we would love to, to paint the house, but this is definitely a time too for homeowners to really um, dive into some of those uh, DIY projects they've been wanting to do or um, you know some people just don't want other people to paint their house I don't know why um, but some people don't, don't want to spend the money and that's okay um, 
I would say, you know, now is the time to explore those color palettes to, um, like you said, if there's a mural or whatever you want your, to paint on a wall or try your hand at art, um, it is definitely the time to, to do that. Um, we, we use a, a company called Spectrum Paint and they are really great at um, just having the colors and the products that you need to do all of that. Um, and would be, and they're, and they're practicing, you know, the safe social distancing stuff by doing home deliveries um, with paint by putting it outside their store so you can pick that up. So all of that kind of stuff too, I mean, um, it is a, it's a great time to, to try, try new things. If they don't work, uh, definitely give us a call. We can help fix it. Um, but who knows, you might just become the next Michelangelo or something like that. Yeah, what is your uh, phone number for them to do that if you didn't? Yeah, that? so my number is 618-407-6417. Um, uh, that's my personal phone, so um, you'll get directly in contact with me. Um, we can talk from there. And you can do virtual estimates, I'm assuming, and you can do exterior estimates right now pretty easily. Yeah, exterior is a great, um, now is a great time to do that, right? Um, we can practice, we don't even have to see each other. Um, I can go over there and get estimates. Um, our sales team can go over there and get estimates. Um, and you don't really even have to leave the house. We can do all that through a phone call and looking at the house um, and all that. So exterior is a great, a great thing to be doing right now. Um, we, are, we are also trying to be conscientious, right? There are people that are out of work and hurting and we don't, we don't want to try to uh, capitalize on a, on a bad situation. So we are really trying to be um, cost effective um, and being fair throughout this process, right? So that um, if these are projects you want to get done, it's a good time to do it. Um, but we're trying not to break your bank account as well. So we understand times are tight. And that, uh, speaking of that, I mean, there are a lot of, if you're a business owner or an office owner, this is a, there's a lot of vacant commercial space right now. And this could be a great time to spruce that up while people aren't there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that. That's, um, that is one, one thing that um, if you, you know, you know someone or someone that, you know, is in the restaurant industry or, office space that you guys have shut down or have limited uh, people working um, and had those projects on to do this year, now is a really, really good time to do that. We don't have to worry about scheduling. Um, you don't have to worry about crews painting through the night or you know, moving people around. Uh, we can get a crew in there, work and get it done, normal business hours. Um, and then what we're, what we're trying to do with that as well is, is really throwing Discounted pricing at that, again, trying to help out. We don't want to be price gouging in this market, right? We're not going to up the, up the cost of toilet paper. We're going we're gonna to give you a fair price. Um, and, and then at the end of the project, we are going behind and cleaning, cleaning up and working our way out. So wiping things down, uh, sweeping up, uh, using Clorox and stuff like that to, to make sure that when this crisis is over, and it will be over, we will, we will be able to resume normal life someday. But when it is, you can get right back in and go, um, go right to work instead of having to worry about that. So um, we're trying to, to help that out, uh, help out in that way as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you are. Um, I was going to say last year, I had my house painted and my bathroom done, which AJ helped with. And we, um, when I did that, one thing that was very helpful for me was I went through every single thing I own and basically was had a forced Marie Kondo. And I would highly recommend if you are going to, if you're now, if you're going to have paint your house and do your whole house, I think it's a great time to almost like you're moving purge. Mm -hmm. And if you're thinking about doing it, why not take advantage of this time now and do that for yourself? It will make painting a whole lot easier for the painters or the movers or whoever you need. Um, and it would also be a good thing just to do. I mean, it's a project. Right. Um, and I mean, ideally, you normally paint a vacant house, especially if it's a listing or something like that. But, you know, right now you can't do that. So if someone is wanting you to come and paint their house, but they're having to be stuck in it, is that possible right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we have the, the stay at home mandate, but like you said, we are considered essential, which is great. 
Um, we also are trying to practice the safe distance rule. So uh, some things I would say that if you are living in, a, in your house, and you want something painted, um, we would ask that you not, you know, be in the same room as us. Um, we don't like that anyways, uh, <laughs> even when there is no virus out there. Um, but we're, we're doing stuff to where, hey, we're gonna work in this section, you know, if you guys will stay here, like again, we'll, we'll paint it, we'll clean up after ourselves so that we can kind of work around everyone's schedule and, and um, their schedule in their own home, right? So yes, we can still paint while people are inhabiting their houses. Um, we will just be a little more um, cautious on the forefront of, of the planning, right? So, hey, we're gonna start in these rooms today. We're gonna paint them, we're going to clean them, and then tomorrow we'll be here. So we don't have to be overlapping or, or getting close to each other. I think that's important. It's sort of the same idea as a virtual distinct console. Like yep. We just need to all be careful. Um, I think ideally for both you and me, it, you know, you would be helping people prepare now, talking to them about color palettes so that you're not having to step on too many toes this time and Correct. focusing on the vacant work where you have it. Um, yes. Similarly, like that would be ideal. A vacant listing is always ideal, but it's not always practicable. So we right. will work with what we have. Yes, we will. And then we will get through this. We will. I'm not worried about that part just at all. It's just, you know, taking it day by day. Um, so what have you been doing just sort of to keep yourself sane besides working and hanging out with your wife and kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a, uh, a little 18 month old daughter who has just kept us. I, I don't know if it's um, keeping us sane or, or making us go insane right now, but um, we've been, we've been uh, ha all hands on deck with her. She's been a, a little bit of a handful. Uh, before I got on this call, I was like trying to put her down for a nap and um, just like praying that she'd fall asleep before I had to get out, get out here and hold the crying baby. Um, it would be fun. People we've would been, yeah, we've been, um, we've been really definitely involved in her and really trying to enjoy life, right? Um, enjoy the moment that we're in. We are all stuck. We all are, but we're, we're together. We're a family. And so um, going on walks and and really trying to invest in each other's lives um, and enjoy enjoy today, right? We don't have to worry about the future down the road. Let's just focus on today. Um, love each other. Try, try not to uh, try not to irritate the living daylights out of each other. Um, That's good advice. Yes, right. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and yeah, it's it's just it's been fun. It's been it's been different, weird, but um. There's some, there's some good that will come out of this. I agree. And that's the, that's what I'm trying to find too. Yeah. Um, and that's part of why I want to do this. Cause then you can expose people to good people and hopefully we'll all come out stronger. Courtney, I really appreciate it. Um, it's been fun and uh, enjoy working with you. Yep. You too. Have a great rest of your day. You as well. Thank you.